So it's got them rolling. This is getting old now. Hey everybody, welcome back to Life with Meech. I'm back with another video. Y'all, I just got off work and I wanted to record this video real quick before my family got home. But I wanted to do the record, do the swatches for the new Wet n Wild palettes. You know, they came out with these tin pan palettes. This is one of them. And they are dupes for higher end palettes. So if you want to see this video, just keep on watching. <laughs> Y'all, your girl tired. Today was the first day back at work. Happy New Year, by the way. But yeah, this is the first day back at work. I don't even have a camera set up right. I gotta bend over. <laughs> this is sad. Anyway, anyway. So, you know, or you heard, or you have seen that Wet n Wild has redone their eyeshadow palettes. And they have come up with tin pan palettes like this one right here. Well, I got my hands on them finally because they are only sold at um, the new four pan. The new the four new ones were only sold at uh, Walgreens, and everywhere I went, even when I went out of town, it was never at the Walgreens I went to. So, into why they came out with four new ones, and they are called. Let me let me get together. They are called. VI Purple, and I will have some swatches and uh, close-ups in here. VI Purple, and this VI Purple is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette, which is $129. This, $4.99. Okay? Then we have the My Glamour Squad palette, and this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and that's $42, $4.99. Then we have the uh, Cosmic Collision Palette, right here. It's due for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, $42, $4.99. And the last one is the Stop Playing Safe Palette. And this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette, $129. This one, yeah, $4.99. Okay, so I don't have, I do have the Soft Glam one, which is the dupe for the, the Gla Glamour Squad is a dupe for that one, but it's in a room, so let's just, I'm going to put some inserts in here, insert some pictures so you can do a comparison. But right now, I'm just going to swatch them so that you can see kind of what they look like on dark skin. As you know, finger swatches are way different from brush swatches. So if you want to see brush swatches from now on, let me know. But until then, I'm just going to be doing finger swatches, okay? So stay tuned for the swatches. Hey y'all, real quick before we get into swatches. Okay, I did those swatches. Hopefully the lighting was okay. It looked kind of washed out, so hopefully it'll be fine. But I did have to go over them like once or twice to get a heavier swatch. So I don't know if the swatches are quite accurate, but what I'm going to do is starting this weekend, I'm going to do a review and demo on each palette to show you how they work so uh and i'm gonna start doing that this weekend so if you have a particular one you want me to start with this weekend let me know down in the comments if not i'll just pick a random order okay enjoy the swatches mm -hmm. 